The big sick is exactly what the world needs right now. Now this isn't going to end how you expect, and depending on you, could potentially impact millions of lives. Can you imagine a world in which we end up together? I don't know. What's up everyone, the name's Abi and welcome back to Slice of Pie. Firstly, I hope everyone is staying safe, healthy and hopefully home too for the most part. It really hasn't been easy. The night is darkest just before the dawn. But it doesn't mean we can't use the light of the moon and the stars until the sun comes back. I promise you, the dawn is coming. It's a very dark time, and the only way we'll stay sane is by paying attention to those stars, because the moon gets clouded sometimes. One of those stars is the Big Sick, a name that seems really fitting right now. It had a shockingly small release, despite being nominated for an Oscar and winning other awards. It's a rom-com, one of the better ones at that, and for me, that's really saying something. It's produced by Judd Apatow, who also produced classics like Superbad, Knocked Up, Anchorman, Step Brothers, and The 40-Year-Old Virgin. The Big Sick has got such a great story that feels so real and surreal at the same time, and it has amazing chemistry between the cast. It has the very welcome return of Ray Romano. Everybody loves him, remember? He's always been funny, but he's also developed his acting chops too, and has such natural dramatic subtlety now. Word that nobody can rhyme. Okay. And Stonehenge. Is... Yeah, see, you would win. It was also great to hear his lines without a laugh track behind them. I'm not disappointed, huh? I'm scared. What? <laughs> Holly Hunter was great as always. The last time I saw her, she was getting blown up by Lex Luthor. And she's also the voice of Elastigirl in The Incredibles. Honey, can't talk right now, but look under your bed, okay? Now, Ray and Holly play Terry and Beth, the parents of Emily, played by Zoe Kazan, who was amazing in her role. The story is about how Emily met Kamail, played by Kamail Nanjiani, and yes, this is in fact based on the true story of how he met his wife, Emily V. Gordon, and it's co written by them both. For my Bollywood fans, Kamel's dad is played by Anupam Kher, and The Big Sick was his 500th film. My Hollywood fans might also recognize him from Bend It Like Beckham. The Big Sick tackles very relatable themes of family dynamics and relationships, but they will be especially relatable if you're in the young adult South Asian demographic, and probably more so if you're in the Western world. If you are in that demographic, you should join the Subtle Curry Traits Facebook group. There's a lot of relatable comedy in there too. Having the story based on something real just takes it to another level, gives it a layer of magic. It's like the self-contained world of the movie is in their shared universe along with real life. I'd love to see what they could do with that. Their commemorally verse includes a riveting podcast called Staying In with Emily and Kamel that's both hilarious and helpful during this quarantine crisis. They also have an interesting anthology series called Little America, which is also based on true stories. Now, Kamel's a real comedian. If you watch his interviews, like with Conan, you'll understand why. This had the knowing touch of an old lover. Oh. Like, okay. But he's got the dramatic flair in this movie too. You might also recognize Kamel from his hilarious role as Dinesh on Silicon Valley. It's me, Pakistani Denzel. Or his voice as Farouk in Archer. Wait, wait, wait. Or maybe you recognize him from Stuba, where he co-starred with Dave Bautista. Do you have a more specific address? Captain! Speaking of shared universes, he'll be joining Dave in Marvel's MCU in The Eternals, and now he's absolutely shredded and looks like he'll actually be able to take on Drax in the fight rather than just to bring him to the nearest spaceport. Bollywood is full of badass action heroes, played by the likes of Hrithik Roshan, John Abraham, and Tiger Shroff. But South Asian men in Hollywood are usually always represented as milksop weak nerds. So I'm glad Kamel's finally breaking that mold. Maybe now the sequel to The Big Sick could go from a romantic comedy to a romantic action comedy. If Kamel and Emily are watching this right now, can you please check your emails and DMs on Instagram from Slice of Pie? If people could please tag them or direct them to this, that would be amazing. I know I've tried this a lot, but someone's bound to see this and give a damn one day. Maybe Kamel's a superhero in real life too. The Big Sick was hilarious, moving, relatable, with a great cast and based on a great true story. And it has the potential for so much more. I'm going to give it 5 out of 5 pies. Now at the beginning I said we should all try stay home for the most part. But some people can't stay home. They're in hospitals getting treatment, like Emily had to. Spoiler alert, she's okay now. Many patients require blood transfusions, and the global blood supply has been dwindling because everyone is staying home, which is good, but then people don't get the blood that they need. 
so it's actually needed now more than ever. Travelling to donate blood is exempt from lockdown restrictions as it is an essential service. Obviously every other precaution would still need to be taken. Pre-booking appointments, coming in at your designated time, social distancing and regular sanitization. The latter two are taken care of in the facilities. Also, if you've completely recovered from the virus, your blood actually has antibodies in it that could potentially help other patients recover and could be used for research to expedite the development of a vaccine or cure. The Australian Red Cross Lifeblood has a group donor program that tracks the cumulative donations made and lives saved by the group. So start a group or join a group and see how many lives you can all save together. If you're a member of the aforementioned Subtle Curry Trades group, then please join the Lifeblood team and let's see how many lives we can all save. We've saved six so far, but I know we can do way more than that. If you can't donate blood, maybe you can donate dollars to the World Health Organization. They really need it, especially with a certain world leader potentially cutting their funding right now when they need it the most. Let's step up and take some responsibility where it has been abdicated. All right, thanks so much for watching all the way here. Go watch The Big Sick if you haven't already. Or even if you have, you can watch it again. I did. It's pretty damn good. If you could also please go donate blood or to the World Health Organization if you can, that would also be amazing. If you like this video, or even just any of the ideas, would you kindly like, share, follow, and subscribe? I promise you'll be helping to save lives in ways you can't yet imagine. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.